Hey, 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 everyone, this is Peter Stone, and I want to welcome you to our free webinar every Wednesday evening. You can check out our Facebook page. You'll see it posted under the events, the current time, the location, your front door, your desk, your phone, wherever you are in the world. I'll be here live sharing. Well, I didn't realize I used to say 33 years, but this month is 34 years in the jewelry business. So I've learned a thing or two, as you can well imagine, we've stayed in the game. What's the biggest challenge in life, in business, is getting through the first year? No. <clears throat> is it the second year, third year? No, nah, that helps. When you get through the fifth year, through the tenth year, if you got through three decades of jewelry business or any business, then you know a thing or two. You have some wherewithal, stick to itiveness, and I can teach you a lot of tools. The reasons we're still in business is not because we got things from other people. I did that for four and a half years. I went out and I bought what everybody else was buying. Failure, right? Price, 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 price. Everybody buying on price. Oh, go to Alibaba. That's crazy because it's such crap, first of all. And then I was talking to this woman. I know her for 20 years. And she's telling me, Peter, she does a lot of research and she was looking for some things online. She found jewelry that was rusting and they said it was sterling silver on some website. I'm telling you, the world is loaded with junk. And if you don't deal and work with someone who knows and the reason why <clears throat> I started my business not because I wanted to have a factory making jewelry, because I was forced to open a factory if I wanted reliable delivery and I wanted beautiful jewelry first time every time. But guess what? <laughs> I started it because I wanted the reliable delivery and I wanted the beautiful jewelry. Both those things became a challenge. But what did I do? I learned, I improved. I learned, I improved. I learned, I improved. And I've been learning for 33 years and I still learn. And I'm going to share something I learned last week and last month and last year and last decade. And that's where you're going to really find the benefits, the little things that when you do them, you know, it's not just, oh, you go online, you start your own business like another 10 million people, if you don't stand out, if you don't say, like, I'm special, not just saying it, but prove it through the 43 different niche markets, Peter Stone has, we've designed them all original models in my company here in Thailand, my team, shoulder to shoulder, I worked with them for four solid years just so I had a good connection. And I was in between hitting the road, flying to the United States, going out and selling, driving from Key West, Florida, all the way up to Maine. And I'll tell you some long drives. One night, my wife and I, we drove 20 hours to see one client and customer in Washington, D.C. Lots of stories, but I'll tell you what, I know how to make this thing work because it's still working after 34 years and every single price increase my cost of goods went up 1100 percent not gasoline back in 2008 7 that went up 300 percent and the truckers and the taxi drivers and everybody else is complaining oh business is tough but here in the jewelry business gold well a lot of people just dropped out of that market and silver took over. So silver was the new gold and it lasted for a very long time. Now people still love silver jewelry and Peter Stone because gold is priced low. Right now is doing 
gold jewelry, low relative to what it was, what it could be. So it's a really good investment for a precious metal. But it's also something people are buying now. So we do sterling silver and gold. And you want to check us out on Wednesday night for my business tips. So I've had a lot of businesses. I've had a coffee roasting business, a restaurant, a crabbing business, a home sales business, a publishing business. I mean, it just goes on. And I've done a lot of things, 15 retail stores. So I know what it's like on the other side. I've had many still have retail, wholesale and export jewelry websites. So We've touched a lot of things. We've learned a lot. And today, it's so competitive. If you don't get the edge, well, you're a cookie. You're, you're history. You're done. You're crumbled. And so today, you don't want scraps. You want to make some real money. And I will teach you how to do that. This is Peter. Check us out. Click on the link. Sign up. You want to opt in, sign up. And you can always leave if you don't feel it's for you. But I'll give you tips in any business, but you want to add jewelry to a website with a drop shipping program. It doesn't cost. I mean, the cost is a little bit, but we give you a lot to get you up and running. Turn key, but you got to turn the key. I'll see you later. It's lunchtime. I got to go. I'll see you.